welcome or welcome back at C-Square. In this video, we're going to take a look to unit circle. We're going to learn about unit circle. Now, well, let's review several concepts. And the first one I'm, I have here is this special right triangle, right? This is a, what we call a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Why? Because you have an angle of 30, an angle of 60, and an angle of 90. And uh, if you notice, um, on the opposite side of the third we have x, the hypotenuse is twice that x, and the other leg is x uh, square root of 3. So now let's take a look at this triangle. Okay, So this triangle is the same with the other one, similar. The only thing is the hypotenuse is 1. So obviously this guy is going to be half of the hypotenuse, 1 half, and this one will be square root of 3 over 2. I have this triangle in a different way, right? The black triangle here. Again, this is one. This is going to be half of that one, one half. This is going to be square root of 3 over 2. We're going to need this uh, two triangle for our next uh, step to build the unit circle. But let's take a look to another triangle. This is what we call 45, 45, 90. Another special right triangle, an isosceles right triangle. The legs are x and the hypotenuse x square root of 2. That's the rule. So now let's see. The same story. If this is 1, the legs are going to be square root of 2 over 2. And now let's take a look on one more thing, which is what we call a circle. Circle, right? This is a circle here. Yeah? x squared plus y squared equals 1. Of radius 1 is this general. And you notice these four points, the radius is 1, so 1 and 0, 0 and 1, negative 1 and 0, and 0 and negative 1, which is solid, right? Now, all, let's put all these things together. So, you see, we have this unit circle now, a circle of radius of 1, and we're going to get this big triangle, the first triangle, right? If I take this triangle and put it on top, I'm going to get something like this, right? And now, as we look, this leg here was one half, and this leg here is square root of 3 over 2. So that means this point here has what coordinates? Square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. The x coordinate is square root of 3 over 2 and the y coordinate 1 over 2. And I use just that triangle. Don't forget this hypotenuse is 1, that's the reason we can overlap. Well, let's take the second triangle. Let me clear this superboard. Okay. And let's not forget this first point, which was uh, square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half, right? Okay. The second triangle is going to go like this here. All right. This is going to be 45 degree. And this is going to be square root of 2 over 2. And this one square root of 2. So that is going to give us a second point on the first quadrant in the unit circle. That one will be what? Square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2. And let's get the third triangle. But let me clear all this stuff we have here. Let me clear this one. And the third triangle, the black one, right, is going to looks like this if we put it on top of the triangle, something like that, right? And obviously this is going to be one half, and this one is square root of 3 over 2. So what are the coordinates of this guy? One half and square root of 3 over 2, right? But if you notice, we, oops, we have the other quadrant also. So let me redo this guy here. The, this one was square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half, right? First one, 30 degree, by the way. Um, this one was square root of 2 over 2, or square root of, and square root of 2 over 2, 45 degree. And this one, 60, if you remember, we had what, uh, 1 half? And square root of 3 over 2. Now, you may notice that 30 at the 60 degree x and y switch, right? We have this guy here, which is 90 degrees, this one is 0. Now let's move more, right? So this guy here, 
will be similar with uh, the other point. The only difference, uh, what? The only difference, the x coordinate is going to be negative. So it's going to be negative one half and square root of three over two, right? What about this one here? This point is going to be the same with this one, just flip over the y-axis if you want to call it like that. So we're going to have negative square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. And we have one more point in this uh, quadrant 2, how we call it, this guy, which is going to be similar with the first one we start, this one. And it's going to be what? A negative square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay? And then we have this negative 1 and 0. And let's move in quadrant 3. Where do we get this first point here? We have two choices. We can look as the opposite of this one or a reflection of this one over the x-axis. Either way, what do you think we're going to get? The x-coordinate is going to be still negative, right? Quadrant 3. And now also the y-coordinate will be negative. What about this one? We can look to this guy or to this guy. And what do we get? Negative square root of 2 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2. And the last one in quadrant 3 will be this point, which we can relate it to this one, a reflection of that point over the x-axis, or a reflection over the origin of this guy. Either way, we're going to get what? Negative 1 half and negative square root of 2 over 2. And we finish quadrant 3. This one is on the y-axis, right? Well, let's move to this one. And here we have three choices. We can look to a reflection over the x-axis, a reflection over the origin, a reflection over the y-axis. Either way, what do we get here? Right? We get one half and the negative square root of 3 over 2. What about this one? This one be square root of 2 over 2 and negative square root of 2 over 2 and the last one here which is going to be the similar with the first one we start with it's going to be what? square root of 3 over 2 if you said that it's an excellent and negative 1 half okay and ladies and gentlemen we do have the whole unit circle all right we have this gentleman okay it's very useful in many math problems. Why? Because look at here now. The x coordinate is cosine of an angle. Let's me call theta. The y coordinate is sine of the angle. That is the meaning of all this unit circle. Right? So for example, if theta is um, 45 degree, we get this point. So we have sine is square root of 2 over 2 and cosine is square root of 2 over 2. Now it works for any other angles you have in your mind that is uh, identifiable on this unit circle. So you may say 330. 330 is this guy. We can have sine and cosine. 270 sine and cosine and so on that's that useful and also if you move to larger angle larger than 360 you can find the sine and cosine using this unit circle but we're going to see that probably in another video of this but so far this is the unit circle that's the way i will create the unit circle if i need and i show you how to use for 45 degree if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click like button that right and come back on C-Square for more math video clips. Thank you.